Welcome to this demonstration of the Koti Remix plugin, a powerful tool that seamlessly integrates the Koti blockchain network with the Remix IDE. Today we'll walk through the key features of this plugin, onboarding, compiling and deploying smart contracts, and interacting with encrypted inputs and outputs. First, we'll configure the wallet to be used for signing transactions. The plugin supports popular browser wallets such as MetaMask, but also it provides a manual mode for non-wallet users. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect my MetaMask wallet, which I've also pre-funded. As you can see, we've connected our MetaMask wallet and I've selected the Koti DevNet for the network. Just note that the Koti testnet is expected to go live soon, and when it does, you'll be able to use it with our Remix plugin as well. All right, so now we're ready to perform transactions. The next thing we're going to do is perform the onboarding process. In the onboard tab, users can execute a special kind of transaction to acquire their personal encryption key. This key is essential for ensuring private interactions on the Koti network. Once acquired, this encryption key can be used to encrypt transaction inputs and decrypt any encrypted state variables or event data from the Koti blockchain. This ensures complete confidentiality for your transactions and smart contract interactions. As I mentioned earlier, we can also switch to manual mode by selecting manual from the dropdown. In manual mode, the plugin creates a file for you containing the public and private keys of two newly created wallets. This is ideal for testing purposes when you want to use accounts that don't hold any funds on mainnet, or if you don't want to connect your browser wallet at all for security reasons. After creating a new account, the next thing you'll want to do is fund it, since we'll need some funds to perform transactions on the Koti network. To request funds, copy the provided message and head over to the faucet channel in the Koti Discord. Paste the provided message and press send in order to request the funds. Just as we did before, I'm going to execute the onboarding procedure in order to acquire my personal encryption key. Now we're ready to encrypt and decrypt data with this account too. Next, I'll show you how to compile and deploy a smart contract. As the name suggests, the Compile and Deploy tab lets users either compile and deploy new contracts or load already deployed contracts for further interactions. I've prepared a very simple smart contract that demonstrates some of the unique capabilities of the Koti network. The contract has a single public state variable which holds a number that is encrypted with the caller's encryption key, in addition to two functions that can be used to set the value of this state variable. One function accepts a clear input and the other accepts an encrypted input. Now we can go ahead and compile the contract. Once compilation has completed, we can click Deploy to deploy it to the Koti blockchain.
As you can see, we have successfully deployed our smart contract on the Koti blockchain. Whether you're deploying new contracts or accessing previously deployed ones, the Koti Remix plugin makes it effortless. Now let's interact with our smart contract using the Interact tab. This is where the real power of the Koti Remix plugin comes into play. The plugin not only supports standard read and write functions, but also automatically handles encrypted inputs and outputs. For functions that accept clear inputs, everything works exactly how you would expect. So let's go ahead and call this function to set the value of our encrypted state variable. I won't go into too much detail about writing privacy-enabled smart contracts in this video, but from a high level, this function takes a clear value, encrypts it using the caller's encryption key, and stores it in user-encrypted value. Now we can click on the view function to read it back. As you can see, we get the expected value in clear text form. This is because the type of the return data is ctuint64, so the Koti Remix plugin knows to automatically try to decrypt the value. If we want to see the encrypted value, we can click on the I button. Similarly, for functions that accept encrypted inputs, like ituint64, the plugin automatically encrypts your data using your encryption key. This ensures that the data remains encrypted throughout the entire transaction process. Again, I won't go into too much detail about the code in this video, but the main difference between this function and the previous function is that this one accepts an encrypted input. Now let's check on the value of user encrypted input. As expected, the value of user encrypted value has been updated accordingly. That wraps up our demonstration of the Koti Remix plugin. Whether you're onboarding, deploying contracts, or interacting with encrypted data, this plugin simplifies every step, ensuring secure and efficient blockchain development on the Koti network. Thank you for watching, happy coding, and stay Koti!